Hi there YouTubers, this is a video of how to use Tune ECU on the Triumph Bonneville. The first thing you're going to need to do is take off your rear seat and find this cable here, this um, plug-in here. And then you'll also need to have purchased an OBD2 cable like this one here. So if you go on Triumph Rat, you can find out how to do that the next thing you need to do is uh, on your computer you need to have uh, downloaded the tune ECU program once you've downloaded the tune ECU program you want to be able to um, unzip it and when you unzip it the file unzip it to the C drive okay so we um, it's right there so there it is tune ECU so what you want to do is you also want to be able to remove uh, the fuses on your motorcycle so that way you're disabling your headlamp when you turn on your ignition key so what you want to do is in mine I've pulled out fuses um, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten in mine, and that means it will disable the two bulbs, so the top bulb there and the bottom bulb there. It disa disables those two bulbs when I turn on the key. So what I wanted to do first of all before uploading any new map to the bike is I wanted to save the OEM map, the default map, in case for whatever reason I wanted to um, go back to that map. Um, so this is a, a video on how you do that. So first thing you need to do is plug this into the motorcycle um, and then plug this end into the USB. So I only have one hand, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so once you've plugged that in, you're gonna get a blue light here. Um, plug the other USB into your laptop. So I have Windows 10. So Windows 10, according to the instructions on Tune ECU and Triumph Rant, it uh, downloads all of the drivers by itself. So there's nothing really for, for me to do. Um, what I can do now is start the Tune ECU program. So, and you're not going to see any of this here. Okay, I've already done this once, but I wanted to make this video anyhow, is you will see a blank table. So don't be worried if you don't see the same thing. That's okay. You'll see just a blank table. Um, what you do then is note here how it says ECU. Let's just get that into focus. Okay, so vehicle and then it says ECU. ECU infos notice how that is all blank okay what it has here is just in the cache memory from when I used it last time and it's over here saying that it can't it's not communicating with the motorcycle and that's because um, I haven't turned on the key yet so that's fine so we're okay with that so as soon as I turn the key now I'm not gonna start it I'm just gonna turn the key Okay, and that starts the fuel pump. Note how my light hasn't turned on. Okay. And what you'll see there is just now it's updated this part here. So it's brought up my VIN number and it's brought up my serial number and, and my default map, which is 20731 okay so if you're doing this for the first time you're still going to see all of this is going to be blank okay and what you do there is you will need to go to ECU and click 
click on this one here read map okay so click on read map it will say is this the map you want to read and then click read and what you'll notice here is now is you're going to see here a percentage indicator okay um, and it's reading your map so you have to wait till that gets all the way up to a hundred Okay, so once the status bar has reached 100, you'll get a pop-up here saying map reading done. And click OK, and then you'll get all of your... This, this will be populated just like you see it on mine. And you'll also be able to sort of on the left-hand side here expand and contract these... Um, these in the and on the these bars such as parameters and and devices um, what you want to do at this point so it hasn't been saved yet so you want to be able to go to ECU uh, sorry no you want to be able to go to file and from file click save map okay and then when you're in save map you'll see here it's come up with the name 207 three one map and then you can add to that or write default map or whatever and then click save okay and that's all you need to that's all you need to do and then that will go ahead and save the default map once you've saved the map you then want to be able to switch off and you want to switch everything off in the right order so the first thing you want to do is go to ECU and click disconnect Okay, so you've now disconnected Tune ECU from the motorcycle. Um, once you've disconnected that, you can then close the program. So close the program. Okay, once you've closed the program, you shouldn't get that message that I got. But once you've closed the, the, the program, you can then switch off your motorcycle. Okay, now that your motorcycle's been disconnected, you can then unplug the USB and then you can disconnect the OBD2 cable. Okay. Okay, once those have been disconnected, you've disconnected that, you've disconnected that, you should be okay and you've got your default map uh saved. Now, something I forgot to mention is you might want to also just hook up uh, your uh, battery to a battery tender um just so that because when you're actually reading the default map, it does take um a couple of minutes. It takes about at least 7-8 I think first it takes about 12 minutes or so or like that. I think the first the second time it gets quicker, but the first time it does take it does take a long time. So you don't want to have your um battery um falling out of you. At the same time also on your computer you want to disconnect your internet. You want to be able to um ensure that your computer doesn't go into standby mode or sleep mode. Um, and also that your computer is plugged in as well and it's not just in battery mode. So you kind of want to avoid on both ends, on your motorcycle end and on your computer end, either one sort of uh, causing a disconnection halfway through the communication process.